This program is brought to you by the RHB Banking Group and The Star. And welcome to the RHB The Star Mighty Minds National Challenge 2010. We've crossed the seas, the mountains and the clouds to get to where I am today. Sabah, the land below the wind. Oh, it's so windy, I like it, I'm flying! <laughs> now did you know that you can find the highest peak here in Southeast Asia? Of course you do. It is Mount Kinabalu. Man, I tell you, there's so many things to do here. You can go mountain climbing, scuba diving, um, river rafting. Okay, Ezra, you need to focus because you're here to work. Focus, focus, focus. Okay, right now I am in one Borneo. Okay, 6,000 ringgit is at stake. The champions today will be representing the state of Sabah for the finals in the RHB The Star Mighty Minds National Challenge 2010. So, let's go inside and see what's in store for us. The RHB The Star Mighty Minds National Challenge 2010 is open to all secondary schools in Malaysia, government and private schools. Schools are allowed to send in a maximum of one team for each category and there must be a teacher in charge with them. Each team consists of three students. The first round is the multiple choices quiz. This gives the teams 20% of the overall scores. What is the unit digit of 4 to the power of 201 plus 1 plus 2? Okay. A is 6, B is 4, C is 7, and D is 8. The correct answer we want is 7. 45 teams getting it right. A Malaysian entertainment group recently opened up a studio in Sepang to facilitate cinema and drama production. Which of the following is the group? Is it A, Exis, B, KRU, C, Eklim, or D, Search? These are your choices. This challenge brought to you by RHB and the Star. Right, the correct answer we're looking for. KRU. 52 teams getting it correct. Highest scoring question so far, 52 teams. Which of the following combinations can be used to clean a tarnished silver surface most effectively? A, vinegar and zinc plate. B, baking solution and aluminum foil. C, lime juice and tamarind. And D, salt and hot water. Okay, the correct answer we want is, there we go, baking soda solution and aluminium foil, 22 teams getting that one right. Mr. Tungu was standing in queue. There were exactly the same number of people in front of him as there were behind him. If he moves eight places backwards, there will be two times the number of people in front of him as there will be behind him. How many people are in the queue? That is your question. And the answer, you write your equations, you get 49. 49, 17 teams getting this one correct. We had 120 teams participated today, and now it's time to find out the top 30 teams from both categories who made it to the next round. So, here are the results. What's happening right now is the hands-on challenge and teams need to construct a model using the items given. Now, they are given one and a half hours to complete this particular challenge. 30% out of the total marks or scores is given in this challenge. So let's find out what they have to do. Here 
here's what category F123 has to do. Construct a wheelchair that can be maneuvered manually for a disabled person, complete with a buzzer system to call for assistance. Based on our model, we have applied concept of mechanical measurement, electric circuit and frictional of well. Able to move and function well for the user. Other than that, we have also applied uh, eco-friendly materials such as the plastic wheels and um, ways to commercialize it. I would say that we have eco-friendly eco products uh, that we will not pollute the environment even more. and. We have also made it so that it's very stable for the users. It, it has a spacious seating, so the user will be able to place extra items by the side. And because it's blocked here, it will not fall off. What about category F4, F5? Well, they need to construct a framework of a house complete with a lighting system inclusive of switches showing lighting for at least four different rooms in the house. Good luck, you guys! already constructed a model of a framework of a house complete with lighting system. Our lighting system lighted four rooms in our house which are the bedroom, the living room, the kitchen and the bathroom. We are using parallel electrical circuit instead of series circuit because in series circuit, if one bulb is light, is, does not light up, so with the others. We have devised two ways to improve this model. The first way is to install solar panels on the roofs or anywhere outside the house so it can act as a secondary electrical source for the house. Your question is as follows. Mr. Iron feels weakened when he rusts. If he is put separately into rainwater, distilled water, boiling water and well water, in which water will he be the strongest and why? Question number three. Team C, what's your answer? Mr. Iron will be strongest in boiling water because all the, all the air in the water has been boiled away and there will be no more microorganisms to cause it to rust. We have a correct answer. Congratulations. 32 ping pong balls are packed compactly into a cuboid box. How many ball bearings, two-thirds the size of a ping pong ball, can be packed into a box of the same size. Required to answer some of these questions. Team D? 48. 48, we have a correct answer. Congratulations. Nakata and Fukata visited one of the Asian countries known as the land of the morning calm. What country did they visit? The land of the morning calm. Team B, your answer please. Korea, South Korea. South Korea, okay, right. Each box represents a letter. Unravel the word using these three clues. A famous Englishman born in 1564. A great poet. Team A, first to buzz in, what's your answer? Shakespeare. Shakespeare is the correct answer. Congratulations. The official mascot of FIFA World Cup in South Africa was Zakumi. Name the animal that is referred to as Zakumi. Team D, first to buzz in. Leopard. Leopard is accepted. Spotted Leopard was the answer we wanted. Congratulations, Spotted Leopard. Zakumi, the Football World Cup. 
each box represents a letter. Five letters in the first word and seven letters in the next word. Unravel the words using these three clues. It is an insectivorous plant. The first word resembles the planet next to Earth. Team A, you buzz in. Your answer. Venus flytrap. Venus flytrap is the correct answer. Congratulations. Yeah, big up to the champs who will be representing the state of Sabah. All the best because I'll be seeing you in the finals very, very soon. But I'm done here in Sabah in one Borneo. Right now, I'm off to the next state. We've crossed South China Sea to get to where we are right now. Kuda! All the participants are waiting inside Alostama. So, what are we waiting for? Let's go! In the RHB The Star Mighty Minds National Challenge 2010, there are four rounds altogether. The first round is the multiple choices quiz. This gives the teams 20% of the overall scores. In round two is where the teams have to construct a model using the items given. This is called the hands-on challenge and it carries 30% of the marks. Mrs. Fine Bones picks some specimens of plants and animals to carry out scientific investigations over a few weeks. To preserve them, she immersed them in a liquid. What liquid could it be? A. Alcohol, B. Formalin, C. Vinegar and D. Chloroform. And the correct answer we are looking for is formalin. Formalin, 17 teams getting that right. One goldfish costs two ringgit. A pair costs three ringgit, 50 cents. For each pair bought, one goldfish will be given out as a free gift. If Mr. Flutemouth brought home 16 goldfish, what was the minimum amount he paid for them? A, 14 ringgit. B, 28 ringgit. C, 19 ringgit 50, and D, 13 ringgit 50. The correct answer we're looking for this question is 19 ringgit 50 cents. Water that fills completely a cylinder of height, 20 units, fills completely a sphere when emptied into it. If the ratio of the radius of the sphere to the radius of the cross-section of the cylinder is 1 to 2. What is the radius of the sphere? A is 1 and 5, 8 units. B is 5 units. C is 8 units. And D is 60 units. And the answer we are looking for is 60 units four teams getting that correct four teams are getting it right mr plod a policeman monitors the speed of motor cars at accident prone areas with radar guns radar guns radar guns operate based on the reflection of a wave which wave does it use a ultrasound b microwaves c cathode rays and D, ultraviolet rays. The answer we want is microwaves. 19 teams getting that correct. Phew, the first round was intense. I don't even know why my pants are sweating. Are you ready for the results? Yeah? Okay, so here are the results for both categories, top 15 teams. to see the participants take on the second round and we need to see them to be a little bit more creative because this is the hands-on challenge and 30% is given in this round. Let's see if the students from Kedah are able to take on this challenge. Let's go! In the RHB The Star Mighty Minds National Challenge 2010, there are four rounds altogether. The first round is the multiple choices quiz. This gives the teams 20% of the overall scores. In round two is where the teams have to construct a model using the items given. 
This is called the hands-on challenge and it carries 30% of the marks. It is light and and it is small, so so it does not occupy too much space. It is also convenient, so you can carry it anywhere. Okay, we have also cut an opening around here so that we can insert food easily inside by just opening the, uh, this cover. We don't have to take we don't have to take the blender out to insert food inside it. After completing the second round, teams need to explain to the judges in round 3 which is the oral presentation on how their models work. This round carries the most marks which is 35%. And firstly, we use the nichrome wire and coil it to act as a heating material and the electrical energy supply from the battery will heat it up and produce heat energy. About the switch, I think that can make it for two ways so that it can produce the hot air and the cold air only. Since it's made from recyclable, uh, recyclable items and it's inexpensive, so it's affordable for everyone and everyone will like it. Each box represents a letter. Unravel the words using these three clues. He is a famous American. Two parts to the name there. He is a famous astronaut. Yes. Team A, first to buzz in. Neil Armstrong. Neil Armstrong is the correct answer. Mr. Golek rolled a pair of dice to decide the next move in a game of Monopoly. How many dots are there on that pair of dice? Team E, first to buzz in. What's your answer? 42. 42 is the correct answer. Congratulations. Huh? Surinder Singh has a rectangular piece of cloth. He folded it into half lengthwise, then into half breadthwise, and obtained a piece measuring 2.5 centimeters times 1.8 centimeters. Calculate the perimeter of the original piece. Team A, you buzz in. Your answer, Team A. 17.2 cm. Congratulations, that is a correct answer. 17.2. Correct the mistake in the following statement. All carbonate salts are soluble except sodium carbonate and zinc carbonate. Yes. Team B. All carbonate salts are insoluble except Potassium carbonate, ammonium carbonate, uh, <coughs> and sodium carbonate. Okay, congratulations, you got it. Two points. Sippy, Kippy, and Tippy were playing a game of snakes and ladders. How many squares are there on the board? Team C, what's your answer? 100. 100 is the correct answer. Snakes and ladders. The picture shows the flag of Malaysia, better known as. Jalur Gamilang. What does the blue canton symbolize? The blue canton. I remember learning this. Team A, what's your answer? Unity. Unity of the Malaysian people is the answer we want. Congratulations. Two points there for Team A. Never in a million years would I expect that we can stand as champions as Mighty Minds of Kadar. What about you? Which was your hardest question? 
the last question for the first part. And for you, you look very sad. How come? No, I happy. Nothing to do. Feels really, really awesome. <laughs> Excited. Um, very unbelievable. <laughs> But again, so what will be your next preparation for the finals? Do you have like any rituals? Or are you guys going to go to each other's houses to study? We'll discuss with our teachers and see uh, maybe we can do some challenges in school or something like that. Talking about schools, do you think that your school is going to throw you a huge party when you go back? Uh, not sure. <laughs> Give us your factory dance! Factory dance, people! <laughs> SMK San Francisco! Congratulations once again. Well done. Give yourselves a big round of applause. Come on. Yeah. So tell me, how does it feel to actually become the champion? It's very fun and it's very enjoyable. Yeah. What did you have to do to prepare for this? Well, because we had tests at the same time with this, uh, before the week before this, we actually prepared for the test and this thing at the same time. It's in Well done. Congratulations once again. Now, now, I need to ask you this. What was the last thing you did before coming here in one Borneo? Um, we subscribe RHB the Star uh, uh, web yes. to find more info about this <laughs> competition. Smart thing to do, that's why they're the champs. Wow, time really flies and we have come to the end of the show. Oh well, what to do? The champions from both categories F1 to 3 and F4, F5 will be representing their states, which is Sabah and Kedah, in the finals for the RHB the Star Mighty Minds National Challenge 2010. On behalf of the RH3 Banking Group and the star, my name is Azura. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very, very soon. Ciao, ciao! RH3, the star, my name is Azura.